This bandsaw is starting to sound horrible and it's this pulley that just won't stick on the shaft where it's supposed to be. No matter how much I tighten this set screw, it just works its way loose in no time again and then it just rattles back and forth. I've got a bunch of other pulleys of the same size, but uh, I don't think these will do substantially better. So what I'm going to try to do is shim this one using some UHMW tape, which is not great material, but uh, I figure it's worth a shot. I'll just wrap that around the shaft. And let's see if I can get that on there without making a complete mess of everything. Well, at least it doesn't wiggle now. I'll tighten that up a bit. That sounds much better. This piece of wood is just there to brace the motor directly against the frame so that I don't have all this force on the mounting screw. Not that it's that much force. And it's only a three quarter horsepower motor on there because, well, I just find that that's surprisingly adequate for this bandsaw. Now the video that actually came into the shop to make was making one of these wooden pulleys like I've got on here because that's been on here for two years and it's given me no trouble at all. Whereas this has only been on there for a year and it's given me lots of trouble, but I think it might be fixed now. I even have an extra pulley blank that I was going to make that pulley out of, but uh, fixing what's there is always easier than making a new one. And attaching any sort of pulley to a spinning shaft is always a problem because as the shaft spins, the belt just keeps pulling in different directions with respect to the shaft. So if there's any sort of wiggle, it'll just keep wiggling and wiggling it and wiggle it and it'll just work its way looser and looser and looser. It helps a little bit if you have two set screws because then you can get rid of most of that wiggle, but it's still not very good. For professional machines or industrial type of machines, there's a way of attaching these where you actually have a conical cutout in here and essentially a collet gets pressed in there with another flange that screws onto here and that that secures it almost like a router bit in a router collet and that's a much better solution. What I was going to do is drill a hole that fits really tight on the shaft and just hammer it on there and then turn it like a lathe because the other solution is just to have a press fit so that uh, things are tight in all directions and it just doesn't wiggle at all.